marketing consultant, a social media name, if you will. Um, and best selling author of um, you know, very well known book, uh, Duct Tape Marketing, uh, a huge hit and used by so many small business people all over the, the country and the world. Uh, his latest book is The Referral Engine, and I just found out he's got uh, another one in the works. Uh, John also licenses uh, small business marketing consultants around the world, uh, spreading his, his insights uh, farther afield than he can get himself on the plane. And has a great podcast. It's one of the top, I think, top 10 uh, marketing podcasts on iTunes. Uh, that's that's uh, highly ranked and, and awarded uh, by many, many business folks. So, John, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Can I, can I start with a question? What, yeah. What is a maven exactly? I think we use that term all the time. I don't know what that is. Somebody who <laughs> is, I would say, really uh, passionate about the, the, the activity, the, the so, so uh, a music major. So it's not a creative or, or anything like that. No, 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 no. it's not. It doesn't have the names in front of us. So, um, thinking about questions, because you talked to so many uh, small business people, I know you got here earlier uh, in the morning, so you can start talking to some of the folks on uh, this. What do you find when the subject of social media comes up? What's the first question or the most common question that you that you hear? Well, I suppose it's a variety. Uh, do I really have to do this? I mean, seriously, how many of you have a couple extra hours yet, right? Right. So, so what happened was this whole new thing of social media and all these tools and all this stuff that you go to conferences like this and people say you have to be doing. Um, you now just got shoved, you know, another thing on your plate. And, and I think that in an effort to sort of decide, okay, what am I going to do? The question is, should I go to Facebook? Should I be like Dan? I mean, that's that's usually the first question. And, um, unfortunately, I, I mean, it's a very difficult question to answer, first of all, because it's, as you've heard some people say, it's a difficult for every business. But it's also probably the wrong question. Um, here's the question, and, and, and for many of you, I'm going to let you off the hook. Um, here's the question that you should be asking, and probably the only question, initially, if you're not getting a return on your tweeting, or, or that you feel like all this stress because you've got all these new things that you have to do, is if you look at your current customer base, and ask yourself if some tool or some tactic that, that, uh, that we're talking about today can help you do what you're already doing better, faster, um, maybe build relationships deeper. So I'm really talking about your existing customers. If you can look at the, any tool with that filter first, um, you can decide whether or not you should, should use that tool or use that technique or you know, get into Foursquare or whatever the new thing that somebody told you need to do. If you can make it benefit your customer right now, I guarantee you, you will make it pay off. And many of these tools that we're talking about, that's actually some of the first and best use is to actually uh, serve your existing customers better. Yeah, I, I think it's a great point. A friend of mine, I was talking to recently, is on the board of uh, an arts organization in Michigan. And, and um, they were talking, they came in, they were all excited about getting on, on social media. And But they had in mind that this is going to grow our audience, we're going to you know, get new people on our subscription rules and so forth. And he tried to explain, he said, you should probably think of this first as really how am I going to communicate more or better with the people who are already my customers, who are, who are already part of my company. Well, and I think there's a real hierarchy, too, to some extent. Um, any of you have heard me speak, this is not going to surprise you. Um, if you don't have a blog, I don't think Twitter or Facebook or some of these other tools are probably going to serve you as well as they could. So, so if you're not, if you came to me and said, should I be on Twitter or should I be blogging twice a week, I'd say, please, blog twice a week uh, for six months before, you, before any of these other tools are really going to pay off. Because in a lot of ways, what, if you listen to what I'm saying, these tools allow you to do what you're already doing better. We've got to be doing that already in, in order for these tools to allow you to do 